Dude, I get nothing, man! What is this? Can Gyarados do this? Probably not. Dude, Rhyperior is pretty insane. What's up, gamers? Sorry, I forgot my lights. There you go. Um, nothing to update on- well, no, there is a box update, actually, and it's a very important one. We have this f***ing chicken. And you know, did we get f***ed on IVs again? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I have, and I'm not kidding, the most insanely free Flannery I have ever seen in this game. The idea is you lead with level 44 Combuskin with Detect, and with Hisuian Arcanine. Um, Arcanine never baits a kill from either of the two leads. Um, and then if we set this to no sun, um, Combuskin always baits a kill from Sludge Bomb, and from non-Mega Charizard in no sun, um, always baits a kill from exactly only Air Slash. What this means... Don't forget Fake Out. It shouldn't Fake Out because I don't see a fast kill on it. And it sees a fast kill on Combuskin. What this means is we can detect turn one with Combuskin, Rock Slide with Arcanine, kill Charizard, knock Salazzle into like 21% HP, or Focus Sash if we crit. The Combuskin slot baits Talonflame, I think? Wait, no, how do we bait? Okay, wait. Mm, okay, maybe it's not as free as I initially thought. Could we ever edge? To go to 45 after the Charizard kill? Free damage? Not in the gym, my friend. Okay, so 45 Combuskin never gets stone edged. And should find a kill from... Yes, Talonflame. And then it's Brave Bird plus Sludge Bomb into the Combuskin slot. Arcanine can just Rock Slide again. Kill the Talonflame. Kill the Salazzle. Combuskin switches into Caracosta on a 30% Sludge Bomb hit and a 20% Brave Bird hit. You go to like half. We don't have to figure this out exactly precisely, but basically this works to where Caracosta is now out versus what should be Entei, Solar Beam, and Marowak... Bone Meringue. It sees kill on uh, Arcanine, but it doesn't matter because it sees fast kill on Caracosta doing business. So now we can protect with Caracosta doing business. Rock Slide with Arcanine. We go Hardstone. We bring both into half health. And then Caracosta can switch on a guaranteed Bone Meringue and Solar Beam into something. Doesn't really matter what it is. Could be Sigilyph or whatever. Let's get there first. Well, I'm making a point here. Kill both, and then it's literally I've invested four slots. Basically no damage taken. And it's Incineroar left, so it's free from there. Like, it literally cannot lose from this position. And because of this... If we go back to the trainer that we're currently on, I really don't want to get a fully leveled Blaziken in here to deal with the Licky Licky. The problem is we don't really have another way to deal with it. No, me and Chon never beats Licky Licky. Like, we can do the wordier sh**. Wideland's jump kick always hits, but we don't even have a consistent 2 at KO. Intimidate doesn't work because he's oblivious. You take like 40 from Power Whip. But I guess you just accept that Wordier dies? Is Wordier really worth a full heart scale? Uh, is a heart scale really worth a full Wordier? The only normal type in my box. This would be with Black Belt though, so you can't account for Body Slam Para. How much does Zatu U-Turn do? That's enough. But you're baiting Body Slam or Fire Blast. I mean, if you can come in on Power Whip, it's okay, I guess. We can maybe live with that. This is so technical. This guy has like three boom mons and an insane Flareon. But I think we have it. Okay, so this first turn is really crucial. We need a little bit of chip damage on this Torkoal so that Seismitoad can kill it. 
We're gonna fake out for chip. And now, this is the important part. We're usually not always dead to Fire Blast, but because we equipped Sticky Barb to me and Xiao, now we're always dead to Fire Blast, so we can't explode on the switch. We really, really, really don't want to see Fire Blast crit here. It's so bad if it happens. Don't do it. Very good. That's fine. Should be completely okay. So now with soft sand and enough chip. Oh, this is really close with burn. It it doesn't matter. We have to we have to take this kill. Show fast kill for a Flareon with hopefully only solar beam. Please, please, please. Highest roll Flare Blitz is exactly 108, which is the HP I'm going to be at after this burn. I think I just have to risk the Zatu switch. He has to find exactly the highest roll Flare Blitz and click it. But it is, um... It is first slot. Does first slot mean that he's always going to click it if he finds this roll? Is it true? Okay. So this is 1 in 16 to Flare Blitz. That would be- because that would be crazy, because there's so many situations where that's insanely abusable. There's no way that's true. Okay, so it'd be 1 in 32 to Flare Blitz here. I have to take it, please. I need it. I really, really need it. <sighs> okay. Okay. We are in this. We're gonna do a little bit of chippage with U-turn. We need to get this down to 44%. Because we want to ideally kill it with Arcanine. This is always Flare Blitz or Facade. So we go Caracosta doing business. We tank. This is always Solar Beam. And now one more pivot through Zatu should get him into range for Arcanine to kill. HP is fine. Yeah, one more poison take always gets him into extreme speed range. This is Flare Blitz or Facade, which is like the optimal move to switch in on here. I don't want to kill with Karakasa, that's really bad. I need to bait Skun Tank first. That's, I want, that's why I want Arcanine to be out when this dies. I think he dies, regardless of how much damage he takes, he dies in the next two poison ticks, right? Because I switch into another Solar Beam, I proc my Citrus Berry. There's no way he dies to like U-turn crit here, so... I think this is correct. I think this is the optimal way to do it without losing HP on Arcanine. Okay. And now... He never dies to poison here. He could be dead to Aqua Jet, but I don't take this kill because I need to bait Skuntank first. So we go here. Okay. Skuntank is- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Skuntank is slower than than Zatu. But, 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 but I think it's always Skuntank. I think at this HP it's always Skuntank. Oh, thank god. I'm like 6 HP off from baiting Lickitung there. Okay. 
That was nearly complete disaster. I mean, he knocks off the Lumberry off of Rhyperior here, but we don't really care. We U-turn here, obviously. Aftermath should be fine. What do I do if I do get burned? We'll figure it out. Don't do it. Nice. Aftermath damage. This might be random move like a tongue now. But now Lickitung can't boom and Hamilton's full HP. So as long- can this be Body Slam? Nah, no shot. It can be Fire Blast, we don't care about that. We actually want to see that. Oh, no hard scale used, didn't level Combuskin, didn't triple Candy. I'm pretty sure Alaska always wins. That's perfect. Uh, rock slide for some chip here, and then I think rock slide in close combat always kills. All because I got like minimum speed Arcanine. Well, that's not the main reason to be fair. God, you're so trash, Licky Licky. Actually, so garbage. Oh, this feels so good. <sighs> okay, two more fights to Flannery. Well, the next one's really crazy. I think the big problem is I probably just don't have a Blaziken answer, so I probably have to fish on 118 for it, which doesn't even guarantee get me one. The only thing on 118 that beats... Yeah, it's kind of true. I don't know I don't know if Tenta does it at all. I don't know if Basculin does anything. I don't know if Bruxish does anything. I'm not sure. But like, if I can't find a way out, I can't find a way out. Uh, Mudsdale doesn't kill Slowking, though. Doesn't quite do enough damage. Because it's minus attack, by the way. Me, man. I should probably scale Encore before I do this. That would have been so fing funny, bro. <laughs> I think I insta lose if I don't remember to do this. You'll obviously delete Dragon Pulse. Okay, so this first turn is easy. It's just soft sand, high horsepower, outspeeds, and kills this. Now we're always baiting Flag on Giga Drain, and this is where it becomes really f***ing weird. I have to open my notes. So it's always Giga Drain. So we go to Salazzle, and he'll take 10% damage on this turn from Life Orb, because recovery happens first. Okay. We are faster. We scaled Encore for this. Encore, and he takes n about 9 HP worth of damage um, with Giga Drain recovery into Life Orb chip. We need this to die to Toxic, but not on Salazzle. Yeah, in theory, I should be able to figure out what HP he's at exactly right now. I probably should have done that. He did 33 total, so I think he must have done 17 and then 16, right? Okay, we'll, 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 do, it. we'll do it at the end. Toxic now. See how much he does with, with Giga Drain. That was 16, so another 8. So, so far the document is still accurate. So he takes another 10 from Toxic here. Don't do damage this turn, just click Toxic again. Sixteen again. So Doc is still accurate, so 
He takes 29 total this turn. I need to Encore now. I think it works out. That was 14, he recovers 7. Line is off by 2 HP. Okay. So we should know exactly how much HP he's at. And how much he takes next turn. He should be at... 61. We said he's at 61. There's no way he's taking 61 this turn. Even if we... Even if he, like, missed Giga Drain somehow. He should be taking... 56. And then he's one more turn in Encore after. Uh, did I do it wrong? <sighs> okay. The power of math! He's still in Encore. We go to Zatu. It's Iron Ball, so it'll always bait fast kill. <sighs> From Golurk. Giga Drain crit re recovery should not save him. No way. And this is Golurk! This is always Shadow Punch. We go here. The reason Torterra- Tor Torterra has to pre-damage this exactly to where Kara, uh, Seismitoad can kill it after, so that Seismitoad can then bait superpower from Embor. Let's see Earthquake. Perfect. Giga Drain barely does not kill with crit. If we kill this, if if Torterra kills this, we instantly lose because we bait Flare Blitz from Embor. Flare Blitz is Choice Scarf. The goal is to get Embor superpower so that we can run it out of superpower PP, get it into struggle, and then set up a rapid spin kill with Doug, uh, with with extra drill so that I can chain kill into Blaziken later. That's the goal of this fight. That's what all this setup was for. I think we Giga so we Giga Drain, then we. Sp we, um, we stall with Synthesis, give him enough leftovers recovery so that he's never dead to Earthquake crit, then Earthquake, because Giga Drain into Liquidation from Seismitoad doesn't always kill. Although, if I roll really well on this, I can just instantly switch. It's like an average roll. As long as he goes into green here, I can't switch yet. And he will go into green. Yeah, okay. So now, we're gonna wait until he recovers back up to 75% health, at which point Earthquake crit should never kill. Oh, dude! <laughs> I don't know! Hope for low roll on the Shadow Punch. You can't crit with battle armor. That was a mid roll. And I think he always puts us into earthquake range. We definitely earthquake here. He could drain as a complete punt. Okay. I'm definitely in earthquake range. He would recover. It'd be two turns. It'd be synth into switch. That's like 12%. He'd go to 52. I think we should be okay. Because Seismato does 56. Potentially. Forgot that that could happen. So I think we should be chilling now. One eleven. Yep, this is only ever superpower. I think we did it. It didn't matter. 
It's not over. It's not over. Chill, chill. There's still some more technical stuff. This is still really, really spooky. Can only be super power and he's going to lock himself in. He's Choice Scarf. We have to count. Okay, so always Zato. There's no other option. The only reason not to do this is for some reason I miscooked this. This is safe because... Yeah, Zato just doesn't want to take too many. Because some crits could f*** us. That's one superpower. Two superpowers. He's minus two attack after this. There's the crit. This is what I exactly what I was afraid of. This is why we're doing this pivoting. So this is superpower three. I think I live crit. I think we have it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the pivoting was essential. I'm like 5 HP off from being dead to crit. We slow U-turn on this final superpower. He's out of PP. He can only struggle. We go Excadrill. He can't even switch now because Excadrill shows a kill on Blaziken in the back. We rapid spin. He struggles. It's gonna do so much. This might actually kill. That's fine, that's fine. We get the speed boost, that's all we need. And now we're faster than Blaziken. And now we f***ing kill him! Invested one scale, no candies, and no 118 encounter, very importantly. Okay, there's one more fight before Flannery. Oh, dude. So I basically just didn't have an, a real answer for this Delphox. Um, it's gonna be really wonky the way I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna kill Drampa with close combat here. The entire setup is to get Del Fox to definitely use Grass Knot on something, and that was almost impossible to get. So this should be Nido King Earth Power. We go into Zatu, and we can't 1v1 this because we need Zatu HP. We need to U turn once for some chip damage. He can substitute on this switch, which is really fing awkward. We will deal with that. We have a way around it, I think, even with Black Sludge Recovery. This this little bit of chip actually matters a little bit. Show me Sludge Bomb here. Ideally, not with poison. Good. Oh yeah, Sheer Force, we're fine. He recovers a little bit. I always forget about Sheer Force, but that's fine. We mud shot. He cannot substitute here because I have boom burst, which is a sound move. We mud shot here for some chip damage. The speed drop doesn't actually matter. We take one earth power. Hopefully no crit. That's really bad. Citrus is important here. Okay, it looks like... We are always baiting Earth Power still. Should never be Sludge Bomb. Should never be any other move. Perfect. So the goal was to kill Nido King with Zatu at full HP. We Psychic. We should always bait Arcanine. Oh, 
And this is where it becomes really f***ing weird. So this is always burn up. We tank with our own Arcanine. So tank this fire gem or burn up. He's now no longer a fire type and he can no longer use burn up. So he can only close combat. Psychic Fangs, sometimes Will-O-Wisp, but not on the Arcanine. The goal now is to land a Poison Powder with Meganium and be at reasonable HP after. Even if I pivot through Zatu, because his highest damage move is not available, isn't it random move on Zatu after? Because, I mean, ideally I want to switch Meganium into a Psychic Fangs, but I'm not really 100% sure. Let's try it. Zatu's at full HP. goes minus one. Crit is fine. Meganium. I don't think I like U-turn there. Because of Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, exactly. This is good. It's minimal damage. We really need to hit this poison powder, it's 90 accuracy. Yeah, now he's random moving. Sick. Okay. Now we spam synthesis until U-turn kills with until Zatu kills with U-turn. We need to account for Will-O-Wisp though. This is going to be really f***ing weird. Okay. Minus two. I just need to account for the fact that he can Willow Wisp Zatu before I U-turn. Fourteen percent right now if he's minus two. So when do I need to switch? If he dies to poison, it's fine because it's a slow U-turn. So ideally, I switch at what, like thirty-seven percent? I think I switch after this. I think this is it. All of this is just to get Delphox Grass Knot consistently. I think we have him. It's fine. Yep, and now he dies to poison. And Rhyperior always baits Grass Knot Delphox. He's already attacked. This was like the only way I found to get Grass Knot out of Delphox. And now. He always sees kill with Grass Knight. He can never Hypnosis. He can never Psychic because he doesn't see kill with it. Flamethrower obviously never kills. We go here. F 
You, Del Fox. That's fucking checkmate, bro. That's fine, he's magic guard, it's not gonna matter. Encore should still be up. And then it's random move Rhyperior, which is why we need to bring our own Rhyperior to confirm Earthquake after him. I think I could maybe just go Meganium. What's my HP? Stone Age Crit does 130. And Burn should do, what, like 10? And then I just kill. I had to go Miracle Seed here to kill with Energy Ball. That's GG. You. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god. And all this to lead to the freest flannery ever, I think. <laughs>